In this video, we're going to look at the principle of detailed balance, which gives us some constraints about what the rate laws can be for elementary steps in equilibrium. So if we have this following elementary reaction here, we have A plus B, and those molecules collide, and they form the products C plus D in a single elementary step. This uh, reaction in the forward direction has a rate constant of K1, and in the reverse direction has a rate constant of k minus 1. So if, with these being elementary reactions, the rate law is implied directly from the reaction stoichiometry. So the reaction rate for the forward direction, v1, is going to equal the rate constant times, and this is going to be second order overall because it will have concentration of A times concentration of B. And then for the reverse, for the reverse case, we have V minus 1, the reverse reaction rate, and that will be its reverse rate constant times the stoichiometry of each of these reactants in the reverse direction, C times concentration of D. Not a very good D. Try again. Uh, still not very good, but moving on. Okay, so we have these two rate laws for the forward and reverse direction, and we know that at equilibrium that we have the forward and reverse rates are equal to each other. So V1 <coughs> equals V minus 1 at when they have achieved equilibrium. So this means that we take these two and we set them equal to each other at their equilibrium concentrations. So we have K1 times the equilibrium concentration of A times equilibrium concentration of B equals K minus 1 times equilibrium concentration of C times equilibrium concentration of D. Okay, so we can divide both sides by K1, by A, and by B. Then what we'll get is the ratio of k1 to k minus 1 is going to equal <clears throat> the concentration of C times concentration of D both at equilibrium divided by concentration of A times concentration of B. And if you'll notice for this single reaction here if you were to write an equilibrium constant for this reaction it would be concentration of C times concentration of D divided by concentration of A uh, times concentration of B. So this expression here is equal to the concentration equilibrium constant. So that is equal to KC. So this is actually the principle of detailed balance. It's that the forward and reverse uh, react, the forward and reverse rate constants are equal to the equilibrium constant at, yep, the forward and reverse rate constants are equal to the equilibrium constant and then that means that their rates are equal to each other at equilibrium. So this is the principle of detailed balance. And if you have a chemical reaction which is complex, which is composed of multiple elementary steps, it is true for each elementary step of the mechanism, and it will be true for uh, any, any elementary uh, reaction that you encounter at equilibrium. Okay, so let's look, uh, look at this in some more detail if we have a particular two-step mechanism. The one I like to use here is just, let's say, R going to I, going to P, reactant, going to intermediate, going to product. Um, these are each elementary steps here. You have K1, K minus 1, K2, K minus 2. Then in this case, you have if I define my equilibrium constant for the first elementary step as Kc1, that is going to be equal to the concentration of I at equilibrium over the concentration of R at equilibrium. 
and that has to be equal to k1 over k minus 1 due to detail balance. And then similarly, if for my second step of this reaction, kc2 is equal to the product concentration at equilibrium times the intermediate concentration at equilibrium, which is equal to k2 over k minus 2. All right, and we know that for a given net reaction, the equilibrium constants are products of one another. So if I have a Kc total for the entire reaction, that's equal to Kc1 times Kc2, which is also equal to the concentration of product at equilibrium divided by the concentration of reactant at equilibrium. Notice that the intermediate is canceled out on both sides due to its uh, proper stoichiometry. So you have that your equilibrium constant there is equal to the products there, which is K1 times K2 over K minus 1 times K minus 2. So in this case, where we have a single route from our reactant to product through whatever elementary steps there, if we know what the rate constants are in the forward and reverse direction for every one of these steps, then that directly gives us access to what the equilibrium cons constant is, or vice versa, whatever unknowns we don't have. So our total equilibrium constant for this type of reaction due to detailed balance is equal to the product of all of the forward rate constants divided by the product of all the reverse rate constants.